there's one more conversion factor that you can use, and it's a conversion factor that lets you convert between moles and volume, but there's a couple stipulations here. This is only going to be true for a gas, and it's only going to be true at STP. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. Standard pressure being 1 atm, standard temperature being 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. So if you're at STP and you're dealing with a gas, you have this equality that you can use as a conversion factor. One mole equals 22.4 liters. Okay, so your conversion factor to turn moles into liters or liters into moles would be one mole equals 22.4 liters. And how you have that conversion factor will depend on what you start with. But again, you can only use this at STP, standard temperature and pressure, so it has to mention that in the problem or it could be assumed to be the case, um, and for a gas only. So if you see a solid, do not use this conversion factor. If you see a liquid, do not use this conversion factor. But if you see a gas, feel free to use this conversion factor. This 22.4 is not in your formula sheet, so it's something you have to memorize. One mole equals 22.4 liters. And when you eventually get to um, the ideal gas chapter, where you will learn the ideal gas law, then you can also use PVNRT to calculate this. Um, so this is a nice shortcut to go between moles and liters for a gas at STP. If you had a solid or liquid, you cannot use this. This is not true. One mole does not equal 22.4 liters. And you would have to instead um, maybe be given their density, which has units of grams per milliliters, and then you can convert between mass and, and volume that way. But you would not be able to use this. Okay. So let's take a look at how you can use this. What volume would 53 grams of oxygen gas occupy at STP? Give it a shot. So uh, asking about volume of a gas at STP, I can use that new conversion factor. 22.4 liters equals one mole. Now that's not 22.4 liters equals one gram, it's 22.4 liters equals one mole. So I need to be in moles in order to use that conversion factor. I'm not, I'm in grams to start with. When in doubt, mole it out. So 53 grams of O2, I need to convert this into moles. So I am going to remember that oxygen's diatomic, Hoff, Frankel, HOF, BRIN, and CL are diatomic elements. That's why it's very important that you memorize your diatomic elements because it will affect your molar mass. If you wrote 16, it's incorrect. Um, and I'm going to now convert grams into moles using the molar mass. Okay, now I'm in moles. And if you want to do this in a separate step, you can totally do it. I always like to chunk my conversion factors into one calculation. But now I'm in moles, and I can convert into liters by using 22.4 liters is the volume of one mole. Um, moles on the bottom, so they cancel. Liters on top. I like to be very specific about my grams or moles of what, and that's why you see O2 after it. And I will now get that there's 37.1 liters. Always check, was it okay to use this? Am I at STP, standard temperature and pressure? I sure am. Is it for a gas? Yes, it is. So I can use that 22.4 liters. That is a new conversion factor that you should memorize, and you should be as comfortable using it as you are converting between grams and moles with molar mass. Okay, um, so these are essentially up here all the conversion factors you need to memorize. A mole equals 22.4 liters. Okay, it also equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, maybe that's molecules, maybe it's atoms, depending what the substance is, and it's also equal to the molar mass in grams. So notice they all tie into one mole, and that's why I say when in doubt, mole it out. You're likely going to have to pass through the mole before going into any of the other conversion factors. And I just wanted to show you on that last problem, if you wanted to, since all these things are equal to each other, instead of doing this in two conversion factors, if you wanted to, you could say, okay, 22.4 liters, it's also equivalent to the molar mass in grams, so I can just do one conversion factor, put the molar mass in grams on the bottom, since grams need to cancel out, and put the 22.4 liters on top, since I want to end in liters, and notice it's the exact same calculation as before, instead of doing two conversion factors, you're doing one. So that is an option. I always like to go through moles first, but you can combine them into one. If you see that all four of these things are equal to each other, it makes sense that you can make conversion factors out of these.